I'm Rob from the Rob and Leash channel. Welcome. Uh, I'm here again. Like I said, I'm doing another Mad Max video. Thought I'd do one more before I give her back to the old red box. But uh, I'm gonna do a sh slightly shorter video this time. I promise. But um. Yeah, this game's pretty awesome, man. I'm... Uh, this part of the Great White is cheats territory. Not like everywhere else in this realm. It's been overrun by Scrotus. More boy camps and patrols are everywhere. I'm kind of not sure where to position my picture in picture. I think in the last video, I don't know if I had it here. Lower right or upper left, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I like about the PlayStation 4. You can kind of, which Xbox One might do too. I don't know, but you can kind of move the picture in picture around the pip, as I call it. But uh, yeah, I've, I've ridden this game for a couple of days now. I didn't get to play as much as I wanted to. They're kind of busy, has some stuff going on. Uh, still got some stuff going on. But got a heat pump problem at the moment. But, uh, anyway, as I promised, I'd do one more video before I turn this sucker in. And I kind of using a little grainy picture in picture effect to make it look like a mountain of sand. A little transparent, a little grainy. I'm going to play this just for a few minutes for you guys, let you uh, see what this game's like. Um, see if you think it's worth shelling out 60 bucks for. Me, I'm a po', po boy. I'm a po' boy. And I can just afford three, four bucks every day. <laughs> That's water, which I already have, and I'm already... Full of life. There's some bad guys coming. Danger is everywhere. Evil lurks behind every tomb. Range. That's what we need. A sort of a you spray. ain't kidding, uh, brother. Caliber. Large caliber. Yeah. A real live oh. long shot. Hard to get one. <laughs> Perhaps these new players are skilled in such metallurgy. Are you saying you can build me one? Uh, if Jeet has the parts I need, I saw one dismantled once. It's not so complex. What about the... Oh, man. The harpoon. Yeah. Nice. Alright, just... Whew. Lose control, Rob. Ah. That's cool. This game, honestly, puts me in the mood. Of course, it's got a Grand Theft Auto feel, where you're constantly in and out of cars. But unlike Grand Theft Auto, you're in a, you know, deserted wasteland. It's, it's really like the play mechanics of Brutal Legend and Grand Theft Auto in a Borderlands type setting. Which Brutal Legend had a very post-apocalyptic feel for it too, but it's very uh very awesome. <laughs> Needless to say. But very uh fantasy heavy metalish um the best of the sixties and seventies and eighties heavy metal album covers. Here is another one that wants to be taken down as well. And I will gladly oblige you. Not so. Oh no. Oh yeah, bring it down. Bring it down, boost. See that too? See that? I believe so. Yes, sir. So, 
Oh, uh, shh. Y'all didn't see me. Man, so I didn't get to loot anything. Cred Knuckles. Where am I supposed to go? Right there? Better stick with the road, even though the big red diamond up ahead. Ooh, there's a ramp. Looks fun. Now what? What's that? Change tokens. I should probably do that. How in the hell could I get up there? What? Are you... Are you kidding me? What? Oh my gosh. Is your car not sheltered? I mean, I was just trying to get the storm to stop. Can't even speak. <laughs> Can't hear. <laughs> skin just got sandblasted. Sucks, I'm a little bit on time limit because I gotta get this red box from charge for another day. <laughs> Actually, until Alicia's charged for another day. But, oh well. Hopefully, since I'm taking this game back tonight, um, her and I will play um, 
the toy soldiers in. She actually liked it. And I haven't played it for a couple days, so. I'm not saying we'll probably do it tonight, because I know she, uh, she's actually working. She has, she got closed tonight and open tomorrow, so, yeah. But she does get off early tomorrow, and she's off next day, so there's no excuse. But, yeah, we got a couple of unboxing videos today, as I mentioned in the past video, if you didn't watch the last Mad Max video. We got our, uh, arcade block, horror block, we got a little bonus block. And, um, she got a, a lure box it's a uh, makeup so there's four individual unboxing videos we're gonna do and by the way from now on if and when I do more videos of this game I will know pretty much to do it in the um, top right corner sorry about that because I'm kind of right where my <laughs> 30 33 and a third percent of my heads up displays there right here but, but yeah. uh, it seems like I'm at a decent stopping point. I'm gonna just um just uh, mess around here. Now I made it in the jeep side out. As I braid that. Hellacious yeah, sandstorm. Um, but yeah, if you didn't watch the first Mad Max video I made, I pretty much said what I said before. It's like you're on Cape Auto out in the desert. It's just like Borderlands. And it does have a brutal legend field where you can, um, I'm sure you can still, still vehicles in here. I really haven't even scratched the surface of, the, of this game. Not at all. But I have played it enough to know that I like it. It's a good game. It's really cool. It's different. <laughs> it's I, I still know if I'm going to get burned out in the whole um, scrap wasteland, you know, po post-apocalyptic feel. Kind of like I did with Borderlands. Now. Don't but Mad Max was original so as far as this goes. Listen. We and so far, it's and now Warlord controls all and brings only death. Warlord. This is probably the Scrotus. overall the Scabrous. best looking game graphically Kill I've the seen air. on the PlayStation 4. Sawed I've played a few games so far. <laughs> I've played a few. I haven't played them all. I ain't played the big Where's ones. I ain't played the best ones yet. Proposition, then. Um, oh, we can as you can probably tell in my videos, I'm not really much into the Call of Duty or anything like that. Your garage and tools. Boom. But, um, I thought you could, you'd have a deal. And then what? Guess from what I've seen, the only ones that could probably beat this graphically. Of course, this is a new game, so you know, newer games are going to look better. Bloodborne looked good. It's a gate, you got a pass to reach um, town. Look for it yourself. It's in Dead Baron's Pass. Right before I do, do we have a deal? Arkham Knight looks. Yeah. You weaken the influence of that dead warlord. Looks pretty astounding from the videos I've seen. I have not actually played it or seen it on a system running yet. I was going to get it and play it for y'all, but I kind of can't afford it. Sorry. I'm a YouTuber. I do have a job. <laughs> I do play in a van, so I do other stuff besides being a YouTuber. Um, but still. Still, these games are many. <laughs> and unless I see a deal on a game, or if I save up for a game, or do really good on a certain paycheck, then I usually don't buy the latest games, $60 a pop. And like I said, the only reason I'm playing this one right now is because of Redbox. Actually, Lee, if you've seen it at Redbox, call me. So, the uh, only PlayStation 4 games they have are Dying Light and Mad Max. I was like, ooh, ooh, get Mad Max, I want to play it. Yeah. If I had Batman Arkham, not. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's a game I really want to play probably more than any game overall. But it's a game that 
I know I'm going to want to buy them regardless. Right. Whether it's 60 bucks, 50 bucks, 40 bucks, six months from now, if it's 20 or 30. I don't care. I know I'm going to buy it eventually. A game like this, I'm not sure. Which is another thing. Um, I kind of want to bring up to you guys, um, for you gamers, if you make this far in this video, which I'm going to end it here on this note. As I walk around aimlessly, search Jeets. What the thing I want to know is that I've noticed um, I subscribe to Game Informer. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you uh, gamers out there do as well. What I've. Maybe I'm crazy, maybe it's nothing new, but here, like, really, like in the past week or two, I've noticed this. Now, to go back in my past few issues, past few months of this year. They don't really review, yeah, review a game until it's already been out. It's like if you go pick up the latest issue right now, which latest issue I have is September, uh, which I should be getting October any, any day now, I guess. Um, like the games that they're reviewing in there, it's like Rocket League, which was a free game on the PlayStation 4 two months ago, at least. I'm like, okay, um... For me, the whole purpose of Game Informer is so I know what the what they feel about a game and their opinions and their whole breakdown, whether it be factual or opinionated, about a game before I decide to reserve it or shell out 60 bucks for it. Or decide to add the extra 20 or 30 bucks to make it the Legendary Edition or Special Edition or the whatever. And, I mean, if you haven't noticed... Go get a game informer, you know, and look at the games that they actually review and give a score. And it's like the games that they're previewing, that they're just talking about, like it's, it's going to be out soon. I'm playing, like Mad Max is in one, uh, some other game that hasn't been out too long is there. I'm like, well, damn, um, let me just rate the games. Let me break down the playability, the controls, the graphics, uh, and all that stuff before the game comes out. Well, I can't do it before the game comes out. I'm not that privileged. But, I mean, me playing this right now, it's probably why a lot of people watch these games. People playing games. I don't understand why you watch somebody playing games. Playing game. It's just like watching sports. Why are you going to watch somebody play sports while you could be playing it? It's all spectating. It's all spectating. Besides doing this, it's a waste of time. It, it, somebody, whoever's watching me play this or will watch me play this right now, will know whether like, okay, yeah, it, it is like Grand Theft Auto with Borderlands and a little bit of Brutal Legend. So that's awesome. From what I've seen, that's awesome. I'm going go out there and storm by right now just because Rob played it on Rob Lee's channel. <laughs> but, uh, I have a deal with Jay. Or. Be the you build me, that's not, that's not for me. Then we head out. We have work to do. Praise me! Because <laughs> oh, just you find me the parts. Game of Thrones aren't doing it. Maybe I should go to IGN. <laughs> I don't know. Saint, just like help me find the requisite parts. And uh, so you guys agree with me? Or disagree with me? Let me know. Comment. By all means, comment. And then make sure you um, either like or <laughs> dislike it. Rock or subscribe. Please subscribe. But anyway, um, I'm probably just going to stop this broadcast now while I'm ahead and made it here. I know I didn't do much, sorry. Uh, my plan, do plan on getting this game later. It's a great game, awesome game. I think it's awesome. Um, since there's no freaking game informer here to rate this game. Cool, let's save it. I haven't got that far into it, haven't but barely scratched the surface. But um Yeah, okay. Since the game informer hasn't done it yet, I'll I'll do the breakdown. I'll do the breakdown. Um as far as the uh, control, it's very responsive. Different than Grand Theft Auto. So it takes a little getting used to. Um, it's not too complicated. 
controls remind me more of Brutal Legend. As far as a lot of elements of the game. Um, you know, as far as playability controls, that's it. Graphics, like I said, are some of the best graphics I've seen on PS4 so far, me personally. Um, there are some better. A lot of new games are coming out that are really great. Um, as far as replayability, I don't know. I haven't beat it yet, but uh, I assure you there's a lot of, as you can see, I think I was there. Yeah, these are all the collectibles. Consider uh, five different sets of collectibles. I'm only three percent, and then considering the bios, then I'm like seventy-eight percent on one, and um, you know, I average about twenty percent on those six. So I, I think there's a lot of game here, a lot of content. I hate to give it back, but in my opinion, it's a great game overall on a scale of um, 1 to 10, like Game Informer should do. Like I said, I haven't really beat the game, so I can't give a total opinion, but my overall opinion of having it for a couple of days or in it, uh, getting uh, probably an overall percentage. Let me see, that'll probably help out a lot. Five percent complete. The game completion yeah, stats for the whole game is five percent. Only completed three story missions, so yeah. As you can see, I've barely scratched the surface. So there's so much more stuff in here I haven't I don't even know about. That aside, just from what I've experienced and played so far. It's at least an eight. Depends on if I get tired of the whole theme or not. I don't know. It seems like there's a lot of stuff you can do on the side with your car, stuff like that. So um, I would give it an eight point five, probably with a potential of a nine or nine point five. So I can easily see Game Informer giving it a nine point five, like they did Arkham Knight. Game of the month. Yeah, probably so. But I would say 8.5 to 9. If I got to play the whole game, I would probably say 9 because there's so much other stuff here. As you can see, that it's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I like it. It's a great game. Worth checking out. I guess worth buying if you got the 60 bucks and you're debating on it. You kind of demolish Grand Theft Auto 5 if you want something with a little bit different feel. You like the Mad Max, but if you're older like me and remember the old movies or just discovering the new ones, new one, <laughs> check it out. Great, great game. Anyway, like I said, keep watching for our unboxing. Like I said in the last video, they're coming up soon. There's going to be at least two, three, four videos, just us doing that, and some game videos hopefully coming soon in the next couple of days. Uh, but guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, like, subscribe. Peace. Woo!